I want to present a solution for the Vietnam National Olympiad 2022 problem 2. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all functions from the positive real numbers to the positive real numbers such that the following equation holds f of f of x over x plus y should be equal to 1 plus f of y. If we have a closer look on this equation here, we can see that the term x only appears on the left hand side of the equation. Therefore, if we plug in two different values for x in the equation, then we know that the right hand side stays the same and therefore also the left hand side stays the same. So let's do this and call the values for x a and b. So we get that f of f of a over a plus y is by our equation 1 equal to 1 plus f of y. Now we use equation 1 a second time and get that this is now equal to f of f of b over b plus y. And we know that this equation holds for every a and b from the positive real numbers. Now we see that the function has the same value at the argument f of a over a plus y and f of b over b plus y. This is clear if f of a over a is equal to f of b over b. But if f of a over a is not equal to f of b over b, then we have two different arguments here and the same value for the function. Therefore, it is maybe interesting to look at the case where f of a over a is not equal to f b over b. So, suppose that there exists some a and b such that f of a over a is not equal to f of b over b. This means now that we can write f of a over a is equal to f of b over b plus d and here we know that d is not equal to zero. And since we can switch a and b, we can say that without loss of generality, d is greater than zero. To make this equation now look a bit nicer, we can substitute y is equal to k minus f of b over b into this equation here. And we get that f of, f of a over a minus f of b over b is equal to d plus k, so d plus k is equal to f of b over b minus f of b over b plus k, so this is equal to f of k. And here I have to note that k must, greater, must be greater than f of b over b because we can only put positive free num numbers inside this equation. Now we can use this identity repeatedly to get that f of k is equal to f of d plus k. Now we use this again to get that this is equal to f of 2 times d plus k. And now we can go on up to some integer n to get that this is equal to f of n times d plus k for some n which is a positive integer. Now we see that since d is greater than zero, that this argument here can be arbitrarily large, but the value of the function stays the same. On the other hand, if we have a look on this equation here, we see that if the argument becomes larger, then also the value becomes larger. Therefore, we maybe try to get a contradiction out of this. So let's try to find some similar iteration using equation one. Therefore, we can write that f of y is equal to f of f of x over x plus y minus 1. Now we can use equation 1 again and say that this is equal to f of 2 times f of x over x plus y minus 2. And now we can also repeat this again to come up that this is equal to f of m times 
f of x over x plus y minus m. And here we also need that m is a positive integer. As I already said, we want to get a contradiction out of this and therefore our next try is to get the same argument here and here. So we want that n times d plus k is equal to m times f of x over x plus y. So this should be equal to m times f of x over x plus y. Here I note that y can be an arbitrary real number, so we should solve this equation for y. And therefore we get that y is equal to n times d plus k minus m times f of x over x. Now we already figured out that if n is large enough, this term n times d plus k can be as large as we want. And therefore we get that n large enough yields that y is greater than zero for a given m in the positive integers. At this point, we can plug in the y into the equation here and get that f of y, which is equal to this term here, but since the argument is the same as above, this is equal to f of n times d plus k minus m. And now we can use this equation here to obtain that this is equal to f of k minus m. Now we see that f of y is equal to f of k minus m, but we also know that since we have a function from the positive free numbers to the positive free numbers, that f of y must be positive. Therefore, to, in order to get a contradiction, we want this term here to be negative. But as we already figured out here, we can find for every positive integer n an integer y such that this equation here holds. And therefore, we can choose m greater than f of k. And we know that this equation here must hold. But now, this is less than zero. And this is a contradiction. This means now that the case that f of a over a is not equal to f of b over b is impossible and therefore f of a over a must be a constant and with this we can finish the problem now. From the equation f of x over x is equal to c we get that f of x must be equal to x times c and now we want to find out which of which values for c are possible such that equation 1 is satisfied. Therefore we plug in this equation here into 1 and get that our left hand side which is equal to f of f of x over x which is nothing but c plus y must be equal to c times c plus y and on the right hand side we get that f of y plus 1 is equal to c times y plus 1. Now we know that these two terms should be equal and we see that we have a c times y here and a c times y here, so this cancels out and therefore we get that c times c, which is c squared, is equal to 1. Now there are two possible values for c, namely minus 1 and 1, but we know that we have a function from the positive free numbers to the positive free numbers and therefore x times c must be positive and therefore the only possible value for c is 1. So we get that c is equal to 1 and therefore we get that our function must be f of x is equal to x. Since we figured out this solution by plugging in f of x equals x times c into our equation 1, we know that this solution must be true and must satisfy equation 1 and therefore we know that this is a solution and it's the only solution and therefore we are done.